Hello friends and welcome to another captivating video of Wisdom Zone and this is Shubhro and I'm quite sure you have already guessed it today I have the fourth part where I'm going to help you out to develop your spoken English and I hope you have already guessed it that today I am also going to discuss about picture description and how we can describe a picture and how we can practice using latest techniques right so if you haven't subscribed to wisdom zone yet again it's my request please do subscribe to wisdom zone and hit the bell icon and continue watching this video so that you can learn how you can describe a picture which is definitely going to transform your spoken english and give you a new dimension to your communication so without further ado let's get started So as you see friends, today I have the fourth path of develop your spoken English and become more fluent and proficient in spoken English, right? So um, before I move forward, let me quickly just inform you that I have already shared the previous three links, okay, of part one, part two, and part three in the description. So it is my earnest request to the new viewers, please go through the first three parts, which is going to help you immensely to develop your communication and you'll also learn some techniques which you can use in your daily conversation right so without further ado let's get started with the fourth part where i'm going to help you out to develop your spoken english and we will discuss about the latest techniques okay so as you see um, i have already mentioned that today we are going to discuss about picture description i'll show you how to describe a picture which is an essential technique to develop your spoken English so as you see on your screen it's mentioned over here and um, let me tell you before I move forward I would like to also discuss few more important things on this okay as you see on your screen how to describe a picture okay and let me tell you a uh, picture description is a very important technique to develop your spoken English, your communication is going to help you out in presentation when you're giving a presentation in front of a large audience or you're uh, going for any kind of public uh, speaking, you are going to get an edge over others, right? So as you see, I have already mentioned, it's an essential way to practice spoken English. Okay, today, uh, let me tell you what we are going to do. At first, I'm going to show you how we can describe a picture at first using simple present tense okay for that i am also going to show you how you can use the simple present tense as well as the present continuous tense to narrate okay and describe a picture okay so um, without further ado let's get started so before i move on let me tell you okay i have uh, given some important points which you should remember okay before we start right so these points are important to describe a picture and remember all the four points which I mentioned on your screen as you see and these points are imperative okay for picture description so the first important point which you have to remember is observation right so first of all observe the picture carefully okay do not rush and do not suddenly start describing the picture first take 30 40 seconds or you can take one minute or more than that also and try to observe the picture minutely okay and while observing try to identify the theme okay that is very important identifying the theme if you identify the theme then it becomes quite i would say that easy for you to go ahead and describe so let me show you identifying the theme means as you see on your screen i have given a photograph as you see okay so what is the theme of this photo the theme of the photo is we can see a living room okay it's a photograph of a living room that's the theme understood so that's very important you need to identify the theme after that as you see once you identify the theme you need to identify the objects in the picture the characters and their positions okay identify the objects and the characters and especially their positions where they are okay and once you are done then you are more or less ready to 
get started right so then you can go ahead for detailed description so follow these four important points then you will be able to describe any picture okay so let me show you few more important expressions some uh, prepositions and phrases which definitely is going to come while describing a picture as you see on your screen some uh, expression and prepositions are given like you can use the expression on the left okay or on the left hand side you can say or you can use on the right or on the right hand side that means on on the right okay you can use on the right hand side also in the background okay that is on the back of the photograph foreground means the things which are happening okay in the front part of the picture okay that is foreground and the background is the on the back side of the picture right you can use preposition under at the top okay at the bottom in the middle okay to describe the positions uh, of the characters or the objects which you can use below also okay so let's go ahead and start the picture description let me show you the first picture and as you see on your screen the first photograph where yes obviously i am going to go ahead and use only the simple present tense and describe this particular image so as i already mentioned follow the steps first we need to observe okay observe the photograph what exactly it is okay and identify the theme and as the theme is that we can see a photograph of a living room okay or we can also use the term drawing room okay that's the thing we can see a photograph of a living room or drawing room okay after that you need to identify the objects we don't have characters here so identify the objects what are the objects that means we see some furniture and their positions you mark them right and now i am quite sure you all are ready and i am also ready so let's go ahead with detailed description so let's see how to describe this photograph using the simple present tense and also using the prepositions and the expressions i given so as i already mentioned the first line as you see on your screen this is a photograph of a living room or you can say drawing room we can see a red sofa or couch you can also say in the middle of the photograph i already mentioned you can use this term in the middle okay you can use this expression so we see the couch in the middle of the photograph right so after that you can say and just under the sofa there is an oval shaped white rug so it's not a carpet carpet is something which covers the entire floor so this is just under the sofa that is called a rug okay so we can see an oval shaped rug okay understood and you can see this uh, oval shaped white rug just under the sofa okay as you see on your screen okay like this way you can describe we can also say that in a different way also okay we can also see that at the bottom there is an oval shaped white rug okay but i'm using in this way because i'm joining with the previous sentence and saying and just under the sofa there is an oval shaped white rug okay so up next i will tell you now i will tell you what's on the right hand side of the sofa okay you can use this expression on the right hand side so as you see on the right hand side of the sofa there is a flower pot kept on a stand so we can see this flower pot kept on a stand and we can also see another piece of furniture on the left hand side of the sofa okay so as you see there is a piece of furniture because it's not clear what exactly it is so you can say it's a piece of furniture so i can say that it's a piece of furniture when you are not sure don't try to uh, yes use wrong vocabulary so you can say that it's a piece of furniture because it's not clear from the picture right so just be careful okay we can say that there is a piece of yes furniture on the left hand side of the red sofa okay that means it is means it is on the left hand side of the red sofa and the flower pot is on the right hand side of the sofa this way you can describe the positions of the object which you see okay 
so now let's see how we can describe the things which we see in the background okay i already mentioned you can use this expression in the background so in the background there is a window with a pair of white curtains right so as you see in the background there is a window with a pair of white curtains right and we also see two picture frames on the wall they are mounted on the wall we see two photo frames okay and there is a bookshelf okay yes there is a bookshelf where some books are kept along with a photo frame so you can see a bookshelf okay on the wall as you see on your screen showing it as yes on the wall there is a bookshelf and we can see the book ends also we can say that we also see the book ends and some books are kept okay, along with the photograph right so like this way you can describe so more or less i have completed the background and also i have also described um, what do we see in the middle right and we don't have anything in the foreground okay foreground is the front of the picture so i think there is nothing as you see in the foreground and there are a few things which i haven't described it is up to you you have to try and describe some of the objects which i haven't i kept it for you to try so please try to describe the things which i have not described in this picture and comment below so let's go ahead and let's turn our attention towards the second image where i'm going to show you how you can use the simple present tense and also the present continuous tense both together to narrate picture or describe a picture okay and especially having characters especially having people okay and how we can describe them using the present continuous tense as well as the simple present tense okay so as you see the second picture on your screen is there so you have to follow the same process so you have to observe let's just observe observe the picture first right and identify yeah the characters because we don't have objects we see um, characters in fact and their positions okay so you can identify the theme first we see that uh, in this picture two children are there okay maybe they are siblings and maybe they are friends so i'm using maybe because i'm not sure so i'm using maybe when you are not sure you can use maybe maybe they are friends or siblings right and we have understood the characters their positions and now we are going to go ahead with the detailed description so let's get started with the detailed description so as i already mentioned you can start like this way that yeah here we see a photograph okay it is uh, yes in fact shot outside okay and in the background we see the setting sun we can see the setting sun in the background and in the foreground here you can use the expression foreground we see two cute children one small boy and one small girl they are standing and they are holding each other's hand understood as we can see they are holding each other's hand and they are posing for a photograph okay and they are looking towards the photographer okay and photographer is not visible obviously they are looking towards the photographer as you see okay they are looking towards the photographer and posing for photo right and as you see they are holding their hands okay now we can go ahead and describe them in details we could go for detailed description you can describe the small boy okay you can see that he's wearing a white t-shirt okay and having a flag and also he has curly brown hair his complexion is fair and he is wearing a checked half trousers right and you can also describe the outfit of the small girl okay and she has yes uh, brown long hair and she looks quite cute she yes has round eyes right like this way you can continue and she is wearing yes shoes and in fact both of them were wearing shoes i guess right so like this way you can describe the girl also she looks quite happy she's smiling okay and she's smiling at the photographer and uh, she looks quite happy okay so like this way you can continue and describe 
And as you see, this is the foreground where they are standing. And in the background, we see a kind of a, a scenery where we see the setting sun. And it's the, we can also further add more information. We can mention that we can see uh, it's quite cloudy. Okay. And it is the sunset time. Right. So, yes, the photograph is taken in light. Okay. Where we see the sun is setting. Right, so like this way you can describe this particular image and obviously you can describe the characters, their positions, the way I mentioned, right? So I hope you understood how to use present continuous tense as well as the simple present tense to describe any particular image, right? And follow the important points, four points which I mentioned. I'll going to quickly recap that if you can follow the four important points you can describe any picture that is observation i observe the picture identify the theme identify the object characters and their position and then go for detailed description okay so based on that you can describe any picture so i hope it's clear how you can describe and it's quite beneficial right so at last let me also show you how we can describe pictures and from where you can take pictures let me show you okay how to practice as you see on your screen okay i have shown you the technique now you can um, select pictures from uh, magazines you can select pictures from newspapers you can take pictures from yes online search okay and also take pictures from there you can collect pictures and also you can uh, take your own photo using your own camera okay and use that particular photo and describe which is going to immensely benefit you because you will become a perfect yes yes speaker and that's going to help you to give any kind of presentation is going to enhance your presentation skill because picture description is also related to presentation so you're giving a presentation so you will find that you will become more proficient and confident while giving presentation or while public speaking okay so i hope it's clear you can select pictures from, as I already mentioned, newspaper, magazines, you can search online also and you can take photo yourself using your camera, okay, and use that and describe, okay. Yes, start with simple photos, as I already mentioned, uh, photos of objects, living room, your, yes, drawing room, okay, or other photos, okay, you can take the photo of uh, scenery and also describe, then you can take photos of people, okay and try to describe the way I mentioned the position and I hope the all the expressions are clear so at last let me quickly recap today we learned how we can describe a particular picture using the simple present tense and we also learn how we can describe a picture using the simple present tense as well as the present continuous tense right so I hope you found this video extremely helpful. Please practice and also, yeah, the first picture which I described, I haven't described few things. So you can describe that those things which I haven't described, you can add more details, okay, and comment below, right? And I hope you found this video extremely helpful. And if you haven't subscribed to Zone Zone, please do not forget and subscribe to Zone Zone and hit the bell icon and continue following this particular series and other series and other videos from wisdom zone because i'm going to come up with more informative videos on presentation skills or interview skills as well as uh, how you can speak confidently in public places also so please do not forget to subscribe and also stay tuned for further informative videos